All right, uh, Rashid and Rajashi. You can both uh, turn your cameras on and unmute yourself. Should I start? Should I go first? Uh, no, you, you wait for me. Where is he? Okay. Yeah. All right. Both of you raise your right hand. All right. Do you swear upon the testimony you're about to give in this petition for a TPO is the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. All right. All right, ma'am. Uh, Here's what I want you to do. Did you see the last lady that was testifying? Notice how she said, I wanted to go eat lunch here, but they were packed, so then we went to another place, then we went to another place, then I sat down, then I, I don't want to hear all that. I want you to stay on the connector. I want you to tell me what happened. I don't want to hear what you went through to pick out what to wear that day and get on 285 and lap in 285, okay? I want you to just kind of get to the facts. Does that make sense? I want you to start with the most recent event and then work backwards. So if something happened today, you start on January the 8th, 21, work backwards, okay? Okay. okay. All right. Uh, neither of you have witnesses, correct? No. no. And no. All right, go ahead and tell me what happened, starting with the most recent event. Go ahead, ma'am. Yeah, the most recent event, uh, my husband and I are married for 14 years, and we have an eight-year-old son. So the most recent event uh, um, uh, was... Uh, on, on November, tw uh, sorry, on December 26, um, when my husband had called, police falsely accusing that uh, I am uh, uh, I'm abusing my son over disciplining him. And uh, he was having a conversation uh, over the video call uh, with my son. And uh, he, he was, uh, prior to that event, uh, there was another incident for which he was uh, arrested. And... Um, put on a no contact order with me and he was uh, uh, on December 26 he was telling uh, my son to tell mama to leave the room and um, he he told uh, he said that three times and when I did not listen he called the cops on me saying that I'm abusing my son uh, the cops came and um, they asked my son if he was uh, being mistreated or hit on by me and he said no and uh, my, and they checked him and asked him to turn around and there were no signs of violence. And uh, this was a false incident, uh, that uh, false acquisition that was made by him. And prior to that, um, uh, on October 26, my, uh, me and my husband uh, were having an argument. Uh, and in that argument, my husband tried to resolve the conflict by pushing me uh, down on the floor. During that process, um, my son did not witness it, and uh, but I fell down so hard that I got bruised on my right uh, thigh and the left knee. Um, and uh, the bruise was not visible at that point, but uh, it was, uh, I needed to, I felt the need to uh, report that incident. And so I called 911 and I reported. So uh, they, uh, uh, they, they created a report, but since it was not visible the same day at the same time, uh, they did not take any action. But the next day, the bruise was uh, very much visible. And uh, uh, I have even uh, sent the evidences of the, uh, of the pictures of the bruise, if you can look at it. And um, I also um, um, checked to, with a doctor, and uh, he also confirmed that it was a um, it was a uh, it was because of uh, being hit and uh, fallen down with a greater impact. So uh, uh, during that time when I called the cops, um, my husband denied uh, that he did anything like that and there were no evidences at that time. And uh, um, after that, I resort, uh, I went to um, um, a mental, mental health therapy uh, uh, like a counseling session uh, uh, for, uh, uh, for the depression and the um, the distress uh, with my husband and um, uh, I explained the situation and uh, uh, to them. So I have been having some counseling yeah, sessions. What, what was he arrested for? So the second time uh, what happened was uh, he uh, on was this was, yeah, yeah, Good. this, no, no, first time was no, no. assault. Oh. Yeah, second time was. Oh, oh. Let me ask the question. The very first time he was arrested, what did they arrest him for? What did they charge him with? They charged him for a misdemeanor, um, 
because he asked me to do something. I don't want to know why. I want to know what was the charge. Yeah, it was a simple assault. Okay, second time, what was the charge? Uh, this was the second charge, a uh, simple assault for which she was arrested. Okay. Yeah. Are there first, uh, first oh, time? No, yeah, yes, first time. No, no, oh, I'm asking questions. Mm -hmm. uh, what is there a stay away condition for him under his bond? Uh, yeah. Okay. It, okay. It, okay. Huh? No contact. Oh, hold on. Questions I'm asking. All I want is a yes or no right now. Okay. Um, are you still living in the home? Yes, the same okay. apartment. Yeah. All right. Uh, is he been giving you any money? Um, no. Okay. Uh, are you working? Yes. Okay. He is, uh, okay. hold on one second. Uh, he is, uh, he's no, paying no, no, no. my son's fees. Okay. What fees for school? Uh, school fees. Yeah. Okay. How much is that? Around, um, uh, $1,300. A month? Or yeah, a month. And it's a private school. Yeah. Uh, what, what do you do for a living? Uh, I work uh, at an IT company as a software developer. And what does he do? He also works into an IT company uh, as a software developer. Do you work at the same place? No. Do you make the same amount? Um, he makes a little bit more. Mm. Shocking. Okay. Uh, uh, do you guys own a house or do you rent a place? We rent a place. How much is your rent? It's uh, fifteen eighty two. Are the two of you married? Yes. Is there a divorce pending or? Uh, we just now filed for a divorce, but uh, right now he is in India, so he cannot be served. But my uh, lawyer sent him a paper uh, saying that um, he can waive uh, the formal serving, but he hasn't signed the document and uh, given it to us yet. Right, right, right. Okay, hold on. Let me hear from him. Let me, okay, don't interrupt him, okay? Just let me hear from him. All right, sir, go ahead. Tell me what's going on. So, starting with the most recent event, uh, Your Honor. Um, on December 26th, my son called me. Uh, he was crying. I don't want to hear what your son said. But your son's not here to testify. I want to hear from you what she said or what you said. Not your son, not anybody else. She between you and her. Okay, between me and her, we never had any conversation. Um, I just called the Alfredo Police Department because my son said, Dad, help me. Dad, help me. And he was crying. Um, and he was uh, repeatedly telling his mom to leave the room, no, to leave uh, him uh, alone. No, hold on. Okay. 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 So talking? my son, my son said, "Dad, help me. Dad, help me." So I just called the police. Stop! 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 Respond to what she says because she said you got arrested. You pushed her down. That's, that's what I want to hear. What happens with all this pushing? Why, why are you pushing okay. her down? So before that, on November the twenty seventh, Friday, right. uh, she called the police and told the police that I am threatening her. She's already told okay. me that. So what did you say? What happened? Okay, what happened was um, she took a bottle of bourbon uh, from my room and kept it in the garage. I texted her from my room that, listen, the bottle that you kept in the garage is mine. Yours is still in the garage. So I, th I thought she accidentally thought I took her bottle. And I told her to keep it back in my room. Okay, I, I, that's what I texted her. Uh, she did not reply to my text. So I called her on her cell phone and told her the same thing. Listen, I, maybe you didn't see my text, but I want you to uh, return me the bottle that you took from my room. And please don't ever come into my room again, um, as I did not wish to have any contact with her. So on the phone, she said, I'm not going to do it. At that point of time, I came out of my bedroom. She was in the living room. I said, Rahi, please undo what you just did. She uh, pulled her tongue out, wobbled her head, something like this. So, and I said, I'm not gonna do it. Uh, and I said, I said again, listen, you are not supposed to come into my room, take my stuff out of my room. Please no, don't ever come into my room and just return me my bottle. At that point, she said, you know, again, she pulled her tongue out and started teasing me like this. 
So at that point, um, I said, listen, you have only two minutes now. Just return me my stuff back and don't come into my room. At that point, she picked up her phone, cell phone, called 911 and started telling 911 operator that my husband is threatening me. Okay. At that point of time, uh, she was in the living room outside and she was sketching something. So while she was talking with the 911 operator in the living room, I took her sketch. Uh, and by the way, on the phone, she told me, oh, this is not your bottle. This is mine. And there is no other bottle uh, in the garage. So what I did was I took her sketch, her painting. I kept it near her bottle so she can see her bottle that it was in the garage. And then I took my bottle from the garage and I went inside my room and I locked the door and told her, you can call 911, you can talk with whoever you want, but please don't come inside my room. That's all happened. When the cops came and I saw this on the 911 call that she made, she told the cops that two things. One, I'm drinking alcohol which I was not drinking alcohol at all. I was just inside my room and locked my room. Uh, by the way, my son also followed me when he saw this and he was- Yeah, no, he was son said. Okay. So I was in my room. So she told her, I, I heard that on the 911 audio, I heard she uh, telling uh, me- uh, 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 Just tell me what you, what happened, what you know firsthand, not what you heard okay. on anything else. Okay, so I went in my room and I locked my door and that's all happened uh, on November 27th. Cops came, heard her side of the story. Uh, cop came to me and the cops told me that, listen, I'm not 100% sure that you did anything wrong, but your wife tells us that she is feeling threatened by you. So we're gonna have to, uh, we, we're gonna have to contain you for your protection. And let me you ask you a question. Let me, let, me, let me interrupt you, let me interrupt you real quick. Ms. Lazarus, uh, let me, uh, um... Um, so you guys have some sort of agreement? We do, Your Honor. Um, based on our discussions um, and assurances from Ms. Ismilova, which I apologize if I pronounced that wrong, that Mr. Kingsland is not living in Georgia at this time, we um, will voluntarily dismiss the petition. All right. Is that your understanding, counsel? It is correct, Your Honor. I have made the two of you lawyers of the day. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. you. <laughs> Weekends off with pay. <laughs> Thank we you appreciate both. it. Do you need anything further, Your Honor? No, you and your clients can both leave. You both, everyone stay healthy and safe and have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh. Bye. All right. So, uh, sir, let, let me ask you a question because I, I'm staring here looking at you, looking at you, and you look very familiar. Are you in India right now? Yes, ma'am. I'm in India right now. So, I kind of remember you from first appearance. Do I look familiar to you? Uh, no. Oh. I don't look familiar to you. You had first appearance in front of me uh, around Thanksgiving. Oh, uh, yes. I think on the okay. morning of uh, did November. I, did I say anything about you going to India? No. No. So where did you tell me you were going to be living? I, I don't, Your Honor, I don't believe I... Spoken with you before. I think you told me Garner Drive or something else for Reddit. I believe I start off saying this is the case number. This is the state of Georgia versus I say your name and I say you got some rights today. The right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you get a forward one, we'll be appointed to represent you at no cost to you or your family. And your attorney is Miss Reese. And I go through and I tell you your charges and I say, let me confirm, this is your address. And if it's where she lives, I say, what address will you be living at? And then you give an address of Garner Drive. And I gave you a stay away. No alcohol, no drugs, unless prescribed, no further contact with her. So where's Garner Drive in uh, India? No, there, there is no Garner Drive in India, Your Honor. Hmm. So this is this no, is, no, no, hold on a second. Hold, hold on, this is gonna be curious. So have you told Miss Reese and have you cleared it uh to, with Miss Reese and the court to go to India? No, I cleared it with my attorney, the criminal attorney that I hired. 
and they cleared it with the court. So when are you coming back and going to court? Well, right now, the criminal case that is assigned, I have not been uh, charged with anything yet. And my lawyer told me that what? as soon uh, yeah, my lawyer told me. in front of me. I know you were charged with something. Uh, the uh, the only appearance I've had in court so far is after my arrest the next day morning at nine o'clock. I had court appearance. In front okay. of mm -hmm. Okay. And in that appearance, Mr. Reese told me, don't say a single word. Uh, right. This is just a bond hearing. Uh, just uh -huh. listen to what the law has to say. And then you can later on appoint your own criminal lawyer. Uh -huh. or a public defender, and I went ahead and appointed a lawyer for myself. I, I, remember, I remember. Don't say anything that Miss Reese told you. I remember. I was there. Okay. So at, at that point, uh, you know, my lawyer told me, do not maintain any contact with uh, Rocky. Do I, I, I don't want to hear what your lawyer told you. That's attorney-client privilege. Do you take, if you got leave of court to leave the country is what I'm asking. Uh, I have not talked with anyone other than my attorney, Your Honor. All right. So go ahead, Mr. Main. Go ahead, Mr. Rajesh. Go ahead. Tell me. Finish telling me. So after, after I got the bail from the court, I stayed in hotel for three days in um, Atlanta. Uh, then for after that, I flew to uh, Illinois State to my sister's house, where I stayed for a couple of weeks uh, from from December um, December 1st until, uh, you know, the first two weeks of December. And then on December 17, I, my sister was moving from Illinois to Texas. So instead of moving with her to Texas, I actually came to stay with my mother over here in India because everybody in my family was worried about me and myself being mentally distressed. Because your honor, when I was in jail on November, 28, there was a fire in our jail. Um, I had a near death experience in jail um, because of this November 27th incident. So after that, I've been completely mentally, uh, you know, disturbed. Like as to why is this happening to me? You know, just because my wife said I was feeling threatened. I didn't say anything. With your sister threaten. moving, what does that have to do with you leaving the Alpharetta address? Oh, because that's where she is, and I'm not supposed to be in Alfred's address as per the recommendation was given to me in the court. Tell, tell me, tell me your response to her allegations. Uh, so uh, her allegations, Your Honor, is uh, she feels like she's threatened by me, um, and I have done absolutely nothing to threaten her. Um, I have maintained zero contact with her from uh, November 17 until today. I've never tried to contact her directly or indirectly any which way, although the reverse is not true. Uh, I've kept my distance. Um, I'm going through uh, the divorce process. When a lawyer asked me for divorce, I said, that's fine. I'm okay with divorce. Uh, we'll, we'll go through a clean, good settlement of divorce where we do what's best for our children. We so have, have, you, have you acknowledged the service for divorce here? Yes. Uh, I mean, I don't know what's acknowledgement, but I replied to her lawyer that I'm okay with the divorce. I can show you that email. And I've uh, told him question. that- Hold up, what's her lawyer's name? Do you know him? Steven, Mr. Steven. Mr. Steven Jacobs. Is that your lawyer's name? Yes, uh, the acknowledgement has not oh, been okay. done. Okay. okay, all right. So, uh, Mr. Bain, uh, besides that, how much money okay. do you make uh, at your job? $114,000 per year. Okay, so you're paying for, how are you paying for the, the, um, the private school? Uh, are you paying pay to, how are you paying I, for that? Like Zelle, how are you paying for that? I pay through my direct bank account from bank, okay. uh, by Wells Fargo bank account. All right, when do you plan on coming back here? Uh, next, uh, next, within two weeks actually, uh, Your Honor. Uh, February 10th is our court date hearing for the divorce, uh, the 30 days trial hearing. So I, I definitely intend to be in Atlanta court for the 30 day trial hearing. Uh, I just want to see what her lawyer says and if we can settle this civil in a civil manner and do what's best for our son. And uh, where are you going to be staying then? You're just going to get a hotel room or something, I assume? 
Uh, no, Your Honor, I, I will be taking another apartment, okay. um, a separate apartment on a different side of the city where okay. we do not even accidentally, you know, cross paths. Okay. All right. I guess you. Anything else you want to tell me? Uh, uh, at this point, Your Honor, um, since I have maintained my distance from October, November 27 till date, um, I have not been allowed to have any kind of physical contact with my son. Um, I sent him a cell phone before coming to India so that we can actually video chat at least and I can see his phone. This was on December 14. Uh, but I have not been, my son has not, after that uh, December 26 incident where he was crying and I asked calls for a wellness check, I have not even been able to see him or speak with him. Um, I would love to uh, be with my son on a regular basis. Um, but just so you know, Your Honor, I am the primary, primary caretaker of my son from his breakfast, his lunch, his school, his homework, um, his doctor visits. I have taken care of him. Um, throughout, uh, taking him to the park every day, every uh, every three to four days a week, breakfast every single day, 100% of the time, lunch hold every single Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Ma'am, do you have any, uh, well, you have any issues with him having contact with the, the child, like video? Yes, uh, so the problem is, I and have I been setting, I, yeah. real simple, I don't want you to go yes. on and Yes, I have, yes. Has he hurt the child? Uh, pardon? Has he hurt the child? Um, only when he has uh, hurt him. That's it. When uh, when my son has like hit him, then he had hit him back. So when is your uh, when is your thirty day status conference? February. In a February tenth. February tenth. Do you know which judge it's in front of? Uh, pardon? The Judge said it's in front of, hold on, I'm sure you don't, hold on. Who's fam two? Do you know Miss Free? Well, can I, really can I, can yeah, I answer on. that? Hold on, who is it? Yeah. I'm asking Miss Free, I think she's the only person on her name is Free. Fam two is just Wall. Okay, so you're gonna be uh, in front of uh, Judge K or Judge Wall. Okay, so uh, we're going to make note on this that uh, Judge K could take that up. Now, ma'am, you are going to have a, real, a really good. Uh... So what time is it right now in India? It is 10 p.m. All right. Uh, I'm going to show her and say, uh, what video chat doesn't cost anything? What type of video chat doesn't cost anything to call? To, to video chat from India to, to the U.S., wh which one doesn't cost anything? It, it's free. On, on what? Zoom? Ch I mean, what? Which one? Uh, Apple, FaceTime. Okay. I'll let you have one visit FaceTime before your 30-day uh, status conference. Ma'am, when can he have a, a FaceTime visit with the, with the child? One, before the 30-day status conference. Uh, yeah, sure. You can have uh, um, you can have on a, on a Saturday or a Sunday. Um, oh, tell me a day right now. Tell me a day right now. This Saturday? Sure. Um, yeah, the Saturday 9th is fine tomorrow. Okay. I mean, India time, so he'll know. Um, around uh, around 11:30 11 a.m. in the morning. So January the 9th, 2021 at 11.30 a.m. Is that our time? time? And our time? Yeah. Time yes. Uh, so that's Eastern Standard Time. So whatever that translates to for you, sir. Okay. How old is the child again? Eight years old. Eight. Okay. So uh, ma'am, you can record this. Okay. So if he says sure. anything out of line, you can show it to uh, the judge. So you can okay. record it too. In the event you don't say anything out of line and she tries to say you did, you can do it too. All right. Okay. So let him have that visit and we'll put in the order because I'm going to put it in place. I'm going to let Judge K do any amendments he wants to. And sir, if Judge K wants to give you video visits from here on out, he can. All right. I'll put that in the order, but you'll get that. But you can have that FaceTime visit with your son. 
Um, but right now, when you can continue paying for the school for your son, I think that's great. I'm sure your, your son's probably brilliant if he's been going to the private school this entire time. But until then, it's one more time I'm going to make you pay the uh, the rent where, where the child lives. Okay, I'm sure Judge K will probably uh, amend that. So it's fifteen eighty two a month, and you can transfer it electronically. Do you want him to transfer it Zelle or Cash App or what, ma'am? Um, I think he can uh, transfer it. Uh... Um, directly to the, my bank account. Does he know your it's bank fine. account? Yes, he has. Yeah. Sir, you know her bank account number to transfer the rent? I do, but she makes the same amount as I do. Why would I pay her rent? Because I'm ordering you to. Do you know her bank account number to transfer? Uh, I, have, I have a bank account number. Okay, she said she makes less. And you're supposed to pay child support. So, boom. All right? So, she does not pay, make enough less. She makes only a few thousand dollars less. Pay $1,528. You're going to be in front of Judge K shortly. Shortly. So Judge K can make that decision. But I'm glad that you voluntarily paid. You'll continue to pay that $1,300 a month for child support. Judge K will hear you on his date and he'll decide what you're going to do for it. But as of, uh, have you already paid the rent for this month? Yes. All right, good. Well, let's say so. What's the day? The eight. So you could go ahead before you go to sleep, sir, and transfer that $1,582. To her account for this month's rent and then you can pay it on the first of each and every day of every month okay so you'll pay the february uh rent on february the first and uh watch I that mean, how can i how can i afford that i have to judge k you have what how can i afford that because i'm paying all of his expenses including his school fees what and his uh school what expenses, are, what expenses are you paying i am paying uh almost fifteen hundred dollars per month his school fees. I paid for his um, uh, health insurance, um, which is twenty five hundred dollars deductible every year, uh, and he use, well, uses up. Uh, yeah, he uses most of it, and I have the records. The only thing, only thing that my wife pays is the rent, and nothing else. She pays absolutely nothing other well, than rent. Judge if I pay that, then I'm paying everything. Judge K, you're going to be in front of him on the tenth, and it's just January the ninth, so you haven't paid any kind of deductible yet. How many, times but, but, your, oh, 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 how many times has your son been to the doctor, ma'am, this year? Um, this year, he hasn't been to the doctor. You haven't paid one yeah. single penny towards a deductible oh. so far this year because it is January the 9th, 20. I paid his, I paid his school fees this month. Sorry. And she paid the rent. That so we are like equal. Problem, sir. That is not a me problem. Now, you're going to pay this. If you don't, you're going to have to deal with Judge K. That's what you're going to do until Judge K modifies the order in the divorce. Am I clear? No, you're clear. I, I hear you. Okay. Now, if you want yeah. to argue, argue with Judge K, but I don't think you'll be real happy arguing with him either. What's important no. to me right now isn't necessarily you or your wife. It's that child because that child's life is not going to change one iota. No, it will not. I assure you, Judge. My child it's is... Not going to yeah. You're going to pay it. We're going to email both of you a copy. Do you have, do we have your email address? I do not have the respondent's email address. You need to provide Ms. Free with your email address. You can either type it in the chat or you could tell us what it is out loud on right now. Your Honor, you provide you, you your worry. email. The next yeah, word. She, I, I am providing my email, typing it right now. But I, I need next to. Next words out of your mouth need to be your email address being typed in the chat. That's it. All right, uh, Mr. Main, did you send your email address? Yeah, I, I typed it in the chat room. All right. Uh, uh, it's, uh, all right. And ma'am, we have yours. We will email it to you by the end of the day, ma'am. You can pick up your certified copy at the courthouse on Monday. And we will put in the final uh, line on there, sir, that uh, Judge K okay. or Judge Hall can make any uh, changes to this that they deem necessary in the divorce. Thank you. Stay healthy and safe. Have a good day. Thank you.